Hello, this is Robert Turin. Today is uh, part two of the uh, how to draw portraits. Uh, part two of many because I'm going to uh, talk, pick up where I stopped last time. Last time we discussed the, uh, the, the, the approach to drawing portrait to the human figure by which we would use a method and use a book and use tricks to use symbols to represent the human, uh, human body or the human head. Today we're going to talk about the approach where we use observation, meaning we have a model in front of us or uh, we use a photograph or another drawing to make a drawing. It's very different because in this context what you do is only draw what you see. And it's actually a very, there's no, no method really, no trick. You only make a mark according to what is in front of you and what you see, what it is that you're seeing. Let me take a pencil and I'll uh, make an example. So I have a pencil here and uh, well, I'm not going to make a portrait. I don't have a model and uh, well, I don't want to spend too much time on this. I just want to show you what I mean. So basically I'm going to draw the tip of my, uh, my thumb and I place my thumb in front of me this thumb here that you see in the little camera, as you can see my setup, I've got the, uh, the camera here and I'm, I'm very like on a close up making the, uh, the other picture here because uh, it, I'm going to make a small drawing, just I don't want to spend too much time on this. But basically if I look at my thumb, my eyes, what they're doing is that they go from the subject to the paper. Uh, well, let me do this this way. I'm going to draw this finger here. So I put the finger on the paper and that's what I'm going to draw. So my eye is going to go from here to there, from here to there, from here to there, always. And I only draw what I see. There's no, I, I'm, not, I'm not really drawing a finger. I'm just drawing, making a mark. A mark. So basically I see that uh, on the left side here, there's kind of a, a little curve and it's going, it's actually going this way this way a bit and then it turns a bit and then there's a curve that goes about this and it goes back up this way. So if I look at my finger, the distance across here is about the same as the distance on top here. And then I can go with the curve that goes on top here and then there's a curve that goes this way and this way and there's a curve that goes from about here all the way down here and then there's a little curve here there's a fairly straight line here there's a line here that goes like this a thicker line that's broken like this in many parts and you get the idea you get the idea of what I'm doing. I, I didn't talk about this is the nail, this is the cuticle, this there's like, you know, I, I didn't talk about the folds of the skin. Or I'm just making lines and curves according to what's in front of me, which I can of course correct. I could say, well, this, this curve is actually a less, little bit less pronounced. So if I keep adding details, I could, I could use a, a magnifying glass. If I keep adding details, I'll add all the little marks that make this into a finger. I'll take a picture of my setup so you can see uh, you can see it from from my angle and see that that what I drew is actually similar to what's there. So I took a picture, and if you keep making marks, if you keep adding to it, you'll end up with something like this. See, this is a finger that I made a drawing I made just prior to making this video. And, and you can see there's quite a bit of detail. I even put some background there, the black background to make it kind of stand out. And it's just basically my finger, my finger this way. And, and that's the end result. I'll put it here so you can see what it does. And that's it. No trick, no nothing. It looks very easy, but it is difficult to do because we tend to, to want to draw what we think is there. Uh, I see that a lot in people who draw from a picture, from a, a photograph. They'll imagine details and the shadows and all that that they can't really see. Or they're drawing somebody who's quite far away in a picture and they add stuff that they know it's there, but they can't see it. Well, what I'm talking about is only make a drawing of what you see. We'll, we'll come back in, in other talks about, about that when you draw 
uh, landscape, when you make drawings of, of architecture and all that, when you, you spend your time, especially if you're sketching rapidly, just looking and just making a few marks to, to kind of get what you're doing. There's an excellent book. There's an excellent teacher of that stuff. Her name is Betty Edwards and her book is very well known. It's called Drawing on the Right Side of the Brain. Betty Edwards, the reference is on the website. And she explains why this works, why it doesn't work, uh, what we can do about it. Uh, and it, she does it very well. And if you stick to the lessons and the exercises in this book, you'll see what a difference it makes in your drawings in general. And you think you can draw, well, you can. It's, it's actually quite easy. It just takes concentration uh, and practice. You won't become quick at it. Not, I, I can't say good. You'll be very good, but you won't be quick at it until you get some experience in, in the kind of the, the way you see things as marks that you make on a piece of paper or in a two-dimensional support. So until next time, this is Robert Turin. You can find references and more videos at uh, turinart.blogspot.com. The address is at the bottom of the screen. And uh, until next time, well, have fun. Make a lot of drawings. See you soon.